Hey everyone, it's Richard at Altfins with a quick uh, macro update. Today I will review um, Fed's increase in interest rates yesterday, what it uh, means and also um, how the markets reacted. So first of all, uh, before I do that, I wanted to mention that now you can copy my trades in real time on eToro if you go to our website and you, you can uh, find out more information um, in our blog uh, where you can find out how easy it is to copy and automatically copy all of my trades that way uh, you don't get to uh, you don't miss out on any of my trades if you're too busy to trade on your own so yesterday the Fed raised interest rates for the sixth time this year let's take a look at this um, and another really uh, large increase in interest rates by 75 basis points or 0.75%. So now we're at 4% in the U.S. Um, and and this, is, uh, a, this was expected. And as you can see, if we look at the uh, longer term trend, you know, the rates, interest rates were uh, for several years almost at zero and now they've been hiked up quite rapidly and that, that of course has negatively impacted uh, the economic growth rates around the world uh, but also valuations of risk assets specifically you know tech stocks or stocks in general as well as crypto and cryptocurrencies so we've seen that really play out starting in uh, in really in late 2021 now uh, the Fed is doing this to to slow down the overheated economy uh, and, and basically tame inflation, which has been uh, in double digits um, in most developed countries. And and so, uh, but it did hint that the pace of the future interest rates will slow will be slower than what we've seen so far this year and overall i think that it's clear to us that inflation is peaking and and therefore the fed will be able to uh, take a uh, sort of an easy easier policy um, or uh, slow the the fed uh, interest rate hikes and that will give some breathing room to uh, crypto asset valuations um, but the interesting part is that while the stocks were down quite a bit, as you can see here, some of the uh, tech stocks like AMD, uh, Facebook, Intel, Salesforce, Nvidia, Google, Amazon, you know, all of them were down pretty significantly overall. I'd say about three and a half percent decline in in prices for major tech stocks. Um, crypto did not do that bad at all. In fact. If we look at the, the performance on Crypto Screener, um, for more, most cryptocurrencies, let's go to the first page here. You know, starting with the Bitcoin in the last day, 24 hours, you know, it's flat. Ethereum, flat. Um, Binance is actually up in the last 24 hours. Uh, Ripple is flat. Dogecoin is slightly up. And so most, you know, Matic is up 13%. So We've actually seen this um, in the last in the last couple of months that uh, crypto is starting to decouple a bit from the the, the other risk asset um, categories uh, like stocks. So, which is very positive to see. Uh, it could indicate that we have reached a bottom. I mean, most of the uh, um, cryptocurrencies are down. You know, as much as. 80%, 90%, let's look at uh, Ethereum. Ethereum has bounced back quite a bit since its lows, but let's look how far it is. Is it down now? It's still down from all time highs, 68%. And that's already um, you know, an improvement over uh, what it was just a few months ago. As you can see, you know, the, the high in, in November as you can see, the high in November um, was 4,800. Obviously, now it's only 1,500, but it was as low as 880. So it's already uh, almost doubled since its lows. Um, and so, 
if we uh, actually get back to that chart, we can see you know, in terms of market structure, cryptocurrencies have been going sideways and the Ethereum chart is very illustrative of what's going on in the crypto market overall. If we look at the bigger time interval, time horizon, you know, it's, it's been on a decline, but really since June or so, it's been in a sideways channel, trading between $1,000 or $2,000. Um, more recently, it's been parking up. And as you can see, the short-term trend is indicating uh, an uptrend, medium trend, and uptrend as well. So, um, and we're getting close to that 200-day moving average, which uh, if broken, could be another, another indication of uh, renewed tr uptrend or a trend reversal for Ethereum, but that uh, you know applies to really the entire crypto market um, as well. So we're seeing some positive indications um, that we may have reached the bottom already, maybe even in June timeframe for uh, some of these major cryptocurrencies. So that's uh, as a background or a backdrop. Um, I think it's a good time to start uh, picking, cherry picking um, the, uh, and, and positioning yourself in cryptocurrencies. That's just my personal opinion, not financial advice, of course. You have to make that decision on your own. But I think that Altfins as a platform can help you with finding those gems. Good luck trading.